As one of the most numerous aircraft in the Russian Aerospace Forces and Foreign Air Forces from around the world, the Su-27 Flanker, as it is called by its NATO designation, will likely remain in service for years to come. Despite its status as a solidly fourth-generation aircraft, many of the air forces which employ the Flanker are heavily reliant on the plane today. The Su-27 has itself become a true family of aircraft itself, with several direct variants in service in Russia and elsewhere, including Ukraine. The Flanker is a fighter aircraft designed for air superiority missions. While different variants of the aircraft sometimes include updated or different equipment and systems, there are several traits that are largely constant. With a single seat for one pilot, the Su-27 is propelled by two turbofan AL-31F engines, which help give the Flanker a range of more than 2,200 miles. Its 10 external hardpoints give the Su-27 the capability to carrying a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, rockets, and unguided bombs, in addition to its 30mm autocannon. While the fighter's thrust vectoring engines make it a particularly maneuverable aircraft, with a max speed of 2.35. The distinct lack of any radar evading coating or technologies on the aircraft hampers its overall performance in combat with fighters of a similar or newer era. While the development of the Su-27 originally began in 1969 as a counter to the United States F-15 Eagle and Strategic Bomber Fleet, it has yet to shoot down an American-made fighter or bomber of a similar era and role. However, by the time it entered service in 1985, the Flanker's chief designer Mikhail Simonov had expanded the capabilities of the Su-27 to make it a remarkably capable air superiority and interceptor of its generation. After first entering the Soviet Air Force in 1985, the Su-27 has been further tweaked into several related variants. These include the Su-27K, which was designed for naval use on an aircraft carrier like Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov, and the Su-27M variants, which improved the ground attack capabilities of the flanker and upgraded its countermeasures. The Su-27M was subsequently redesignated as the Su-35. Another derivative of the flanker is the Su-34 fullback, which features a much expanded capacity to carry fuel, which allows the aircraft to operate at a much greater range. Additionally, the fullback includes several tweaks that reorient it towards a dedicated attack role instead of the air superiority role of the standard Su-27.